Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Most merciful God, we confess to you before the whole company of heaven and one another that we have sinned in thought, word and deed, and in what we have failed to do. Forgive us our sins, heal us by your Spirit, and raise us to new life in Christ. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Alleluia. Before the ending of the day, Creator of the world, we pray that you, with steadfast love, would keep your watch around us while we sleep. From evil dreams defend our sight, from fears and terrors of the night. Tread underfoot our deadly foe, that we no sinful thought may know. O Father, that we ask be done, through Jesus Christ, your only Son. And Holy Spirit, by whose breath our souls are raised to life from death. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and in your faithfulness give ear to my supplications. Answer me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight shall no one living be justified. For the enemy has pursued me, crushing my life to the ground, making me sit in darkness like those long dead. My spirit faints within me, my heart within me is desolate. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. I remember the time past, I muse upon all your deeds, I consider the works of your hands. I stretch out my hands to you. My soul gasps for you like a thirsty land. O oh Lord, make haste to answer me. My spirit fails me. Hide not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down to the pit. Let me hear your, of your loving kindness in the morning, for in you I put my trust. Show me the way I should walk in, for I lift up my soul to you. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Deliver me, O Lord, from my enemies, for I flee to you for refuge. Teach me to do what pleases you, for you are my God. Let your kindly spirit lead me on a level path. Revive me, O Lord, for your name's sake. For your righteousness' sake, bring me out of trouble. In your faithfulness, slay my enemies and destroy all the adversaries of my soul. For truly, I am your servant. Show me, O Lord, the way that I should walk in. Jesus, our companion, when we are driven to despair, help us through the friends and strangers we encounter on our path to know you as our refuge, our way, our truth and our life. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Jesus said, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. 
Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord, God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Heavenly Father, we bring our thanksgiving to you. We thank you for your mercy and your grace in our lives. We thank you for another day we thank you for your goodness towards us and for your provision in so many ways. And we bring our requests to you, Heavenly Father. Grant peace and comfort to all who are listening. Grant us hope and encouragement and settled hearts at the end of another day. We ask you to show your saving grace to people in Carsholton Parish. Bring many to faith, we pray. And bring many to faith in our nation, Lord. Heavenly Father, we pray for the deanery of Reigate. We ask, Lord, that you would extend your kingdom and make your glory known in this deanery. We pray for Anita Colpus, the area dean. Would you give her the wisdom, the strength, and the grace that she needs to fulfill her role? And finally, Heavenly Father, we ask for peace on our streets, in our area, and in this country at this time. We ask all of these things in the name of Jesus. Amen. Look down, O God, from your heavenly throne. Illuminate the darkness of this night with your celestial brightness. And from the children of light, banish the deeds of darkness through Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Jesus, for the night is at hand and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord bless us and watch over us. The Lord make his face shine upon us 
and be gracious to us. The Lord look kindly on us and give us peace. Amen.